In this video, I want to show you how to set up moisture sensor based watering with the upper and lower threshold strategies that are built into a base station 3200. To do this, I'm going to turn my dial to the smart watering position. First thing I have to do is I have to actually assign my moisture sensors. To do this, I'm going to the first box, Moisture Sensor Assignments, press Enter to go into the screen. Like the other assigned screens, you'll notice here on the left-hand column, I have a list of any of the moisture sensors that are available and have not yet been assigned. On the right-hand side, I have a list of primary zones. Primary zones are explained in another video, but you see I have Zone 1 is set up as my only available primary zone. To assign the sensor, I'm going to use my plus key to move up or down in the left-hand side to highlight the sensor I want to assign. And then I'm going to use my next or previous key to move up and down in the right-hand side. In this case, it's defaulted to the only one available. It says press enter to assign, and I press enter. And you can see that it moves the moisture sensor from the unassigned to the primary zone assignment in the right-hand side of the screen. Once I've made the assignments, I can press the back button, and I can go set up the moisture sensor-based watering for that sensor. I'm going to press next to highlight moisture sensor setup and press enter. In this screen, I have my primary zone that I want to select. In this case, it's the only zone that I have available, but I could change that with plus or minus. And then I have some watering options. The first is lower limit. Lower limit means that the controller will turn on or start the program based on a moisture threshold. It will allow the moisture sensor to dry down to whatever threshold is set and then once it's below that limit it will then turn on the program. The other option that I have is upper limit. If I have an upper limit it will turn on based on some timed schedule on your start days and start times that you configure for the program but it will adjust the runtime and turn off the program when it reaches the moisture limit, the upper threshold. Both of these options are explained in the Watering with Soil Moisture Sensors document which is available for download at www.baselinesystems.com. Let's go ahead and set up a lower limit strategy here for this primary zone. Set it to lower limit and then I'm going to go and adjust my moisture threshold. Now I can have the controller automatically set this limit for me with the use of a calibration cycle. I have three options. Monthly means that the controller will perform a calibration cycle every single month and set a new lower threshold for that sensor. I also have the option to do it never which means it's going to rely on me to set this limit and then it will use that limit that's set or I can do it one time. It will run the calibration cycle one time and that limit will then be set and left alone unless you change it. All three are good options and depend on your specific site needs. For more specific information about this calibration cycle and when to use it, I encourage you to also visit the document that I mentioned, the Watering with Soil Moisture Sensors, which is available at BaselineSystems.com. The Limit Adjustment field is an advanced user field that you will use primarily in upper threshold watering. If you'd like more information on how to use this setting at your site, please contact Baseline Systems. That is how you set up soil moisture sensor watering in a base station 3200. Thanks.